The information in this video is for spiritual practice only. It is intended to help support the viewer's spiritual journey and a more fulfilling and overall healthier experience of life. It is not personal counseling or advice and guarantees no specific outcomes. No individual should use the information in this video for self-diagnosis or treatment or as a replacement for medical, psychological, or practical care. In other words, this is spiritual practice. Always consult with an appropriate professional for specific advice and counsel for your individual situations as needed. Blessed be and enjoy. Mark Angelo Lyons, Drawing the Circle Productions. So before we meditate, which we will do, um, tonight's meditation is actually in a way a spell. So before we close our eyes and do all the breathing and stuff like that, okay, I want you to think of something that you would like to manifest in your life. Something relatively small and believable. So the meditation is sort of a way of doing a spell on a micro level. So I want you to think of something that you want to manifest in your life, but something that's believable. A million dollars by noon tomorrow, not gonna fly, right? I mean, if it does, it does. I can't edit what's in your head. But something easy, like a bologna sandwich, you know, a song on the radio, hearing from a friend, something that's within the realm of possibility. And tonight we're gonna discuss why something within the realm of possibility or something that you believe is possible is going to fuel your magic much, much more powerfully than something like po purple polka dotted unicorn. First of all, they don't exist in the physical realm. So the chances of you manifesting one outside of a stuffed animal, a little tricky. So everybody have something that they could think of? A particular cocktail you like? Something easy. Seeing yourself at the beach or something along those lines and something that feels good. Got an idea? Okay. So now, please take a moment to get yourself comfortable in a position that you can stay in for about five, ten minutes, not terribly long. Close your eyes and breathe. And really, this first minute, just breathe. Nothing complicated. This is your opportunity to tune in to yourself, to drop the past and the future, and really settle into the present moment. You just focus on your breath. Distracting thought comes up, just notice it and exhale it. Now allow your body to relax. Scan yourself from head to toe, looking for any place that feels tight, tense, or holding on. And do whatever you need to do physically to get comfortable. Neck roll is a good one. Shoulder shrug. Stretch. Keeping in mind that as you relax, the muscles and the bones will have to adjust and that's just fine. And now ground and center. Really exhale all of that stuff, the past, the present, the stress. Imagine with every exhale it's going down through the soles of your feet and the base of your spine. Creating a root going deep into the earth. Energy follows thought, so if you direct it, it will go that way.
the center, pulling your energy to a sphere three to six inches in diameter, focused somewhere in the body that feels like your center, whether it's your solar plexus or your navel or your heart, whatever works. Ground and center. Ground and center. Once you have that choice made, imagine yourself sitting in a movie theater by yourself, looking up at the movie screen, and imagine yourself watching yourself on the movie screen, being, doing, or having the thing that you want. Maybe like a 10 second loop. Like if somebody wanted to bat a home run, they would visualize that loop of them, of swinging the bat, making contact with the ball, and watching it soar out of the park. Just a 10 minute loop, 10 minute, 10 second loop. And this movement of imagination is your element of air, thought. That's your first spell component in this. Thinking about it. If it's money, you might want to imagine yourself counting it out, or popping it in the ATM, or withdrawing it from the ATM. You're just going to let that element of air develop. And were you to do this for 10 minutes, more detail would come. So you don't have to script the whole thing, you don't have to bring in other characters. Just know that everything that exists in physical reality started as someone's imagination. The clothes you're wearing, the coffee you drank, your tissues. Somebody imagined it first. So you're watching this movie. Now get in touch with how much you want it, the feeling, the desire. You know, if it's something really simple like a sandwich, chances are you're not the towering inferno of desire on this, unless you're really hungry. So whether it's just like, yeah, I'd like that, get in touch with that feeling of, yeah, I'd like that. And if it's something you really want, let the fire build, because that's your element of fire. And were you to focus on this, it would build in momentum. Remember to breathe. Sometimes when you're building energy, the tendency is to hold the breath. And actually, breath feeds it. You've got your air and your fire. Now imagine that you're getting up out of your movie seat and stepping into the movie. So now you're seeing through your eyes, hearing through your ears, touching through your fingers. What's going on in that loop? And I want you to notice how it feels emotionally to be, to do, or to have that which you have imagined and desired. What's the emotion? not have to be a tidal wave. It could be a trickle. It could be a gentle flow. But this is your element of water. So just tune into how how it feels. How does it feel to already be it? Do it.
exit the screen and go sit back down in your seat in a movie theater. So you've got your element of air, the imagination, the visualization, the element of fire, the feeling of desire, of how much you want it, the element of water, the emotion of how it would feel to be your hand. Now for our element of earth, we're going to use the physical body. On the count of three, we're all going to inhale together, and we're going to exhale, blowing this screen up into the air, letting it go to the universe. Inhale on three. One, two, three. Inhale. Blow it away. And watch it go. And just let these words filter through your mind. I'm going to say it three times. This or something better is manifesting for me here and now under grace and in perfect ways for my highest good and for the highest good of all concerned. This or something better is manifesting for me here and now under grace in perfect ways for my highest good and for the highest good of all this or something even better is manifesting for me here and now under grace and in perfect ways for my highest good and for the highest good of all things. And so it is. So just relax. Focus on the breath. Let the image of the movie theater go. Remember that your physical body is sitting in a room in Sayville at the Silver Burn. You ground and center again, because believe it or not, you move more energy than you realize you have. So you really want to ground and center yourself. Pull your energy in, send those roots down through the soles of the feet and the base of the spine, creating that magical tripod. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. As you're ready, make your way back into the room, allowing the eyelids to be the last things that move. So you're really, really, really in your body before you open your eyes and come back in.